day brought to you by our good friends at Rib Crib. And we are officially underway on what is an absolutely beautiful night here. And Pop, this is where, you know, you're going to start seeing RGVs had a lot of success just defensively. They're so hard to break down. Really important for FC Tulsa to pull them away and create that space. Ball this played into the box on the ground. It's there and an early goal. And FC Tulsa strikes in the seventh minute. Oh, and we are off to the races. Just like that, it's Yosef who puts FC Tulsa in front. You were just talking about being able to break down this back line, and there's the ball that you talked about. Somehow was able to make its way through. Contact there in the center circle. Referee is going to reach into his pocket and we will have our first booking. Cabe just has just a workman's like mentality and approach to the game. You know, your true definition of your holding mid. And I know that there were a lot of expectations for him to come in after the trade there from Detroit to kind of be that guy to to put it all together to finally be that piece of the puzzle as we have another booking here. That final pass, that final shot is lacking because they haven't really challenged goalkeeper Michael Nelson yet. For the next Goodrum who takes a knock from behind and the referee is pointing at the center spot. And we have another booking that's here and that's, I believe, number two. And the red has been shown. Standing straight over it. Hops to his left, approaches, and sends it to the back of the net. Kept the keeper guessing. Derek had no idea where he was going. And FC Tulsa takes a 2-0 lead as Philip Goodrum gets credit for the goal on the PK. Up with an unbelievable amount of confidence. Take a look at this penalty kick. Really cheeky. Just chips it right up. Quiet so far here this evening. A prolific goal scorer for RGV. Kept alive there towards the near post. Oh, Nelson had to go down. A couple of players there still. Incredibly dangerous situation. Looking to capitalize on as we take a look here. Just an incredible effort to keep that ball alive. Yeah, Ricketts on the outside just. Seats also looking for number three. RGV playing a man down. Sit in towards the penalty spot. That one's headed directly at the keeper. Uh, Four minutes were added. Wall is set. There's an attempt that finds its way through, and the keeper has it. Michael Nelson smothered it. RGB still trying to push forward. Wasted ball played inside. Nelson smothers it, and that will do it for the first half. FC Tulsa tries to find the back of the net for the third time in this match type of runs they have that's there right at the penalty spot oh Goodrum oh both hands went to the top of the head almost a little bit of a surrender Cobra there seeing if you could just get a piece to flick it on it's a better ball towards the back post oh an opportunity outstretched there was Nelson it got by him and Akwe did really well on that back post to get up but you have to get over it and put it on yeah, that line that you mentioned, almost right in line with the, the top of the D. There it is, curling. That's there, just sneaks past the post. Well-timed ball, even better defending there from Ricketts. If you do not get a piece of it, a shot from distance. And, well, it was on frame, and, and it came in a hurry. We'll take a look at it here as Armour said, why not, I'll have a go. Watch the power he gets from the left foot. Derek to punch that one up away to safety is FC Tulsa. Diagonal attempt there from Goodrum. He was to try to test him far post. Needed a little bit more elevation on that. Well done from the keeper. Called into action now. Last several minutes a couple of times. To the other end, we go quickly. A shot, that one. Oh, Pinzone. Of 
Ronado plays it out wide. Looking there, header towards the back post, and RGV has been able to strike here in the 74th. And we talked about it the entire night. If they could just find a way to pull one back. Galindras finds the back of the net for RGV, and they did a great job to get that ball out wide and an excellent cross. A little bit of a, of a change so far from what we've seen so far here in the first half. And that is a hard foul there. And another yellow added to the tally here this evening is Goodrum is down. Fans, you can head to the FC Tulsa app to vote for tonight's Man of the Match. You can download the FC Tulsa app on the App Store and the Google Play Store. Voting closes at the final whistle. And they've gone back, and a red has been awarded. More heavy contact. Referee says play on. Here's McCabe, the Dyer. It's behind him a little bit. Has helped to the outside with armor. There's Goodrum. Oh, and an incredible save from Tyler Derrick. Doesn't argue with the referee, and you see him sprint, complete his run all the way through, and Dyer finds him, plays a great ball. Good. Three more points for them. They can hang on and a climb even higher there in the standings. Driven ball, that one is well wide of frame. Saw there Nelson, didn't want to take any chance. Referee with the whistle. And that will do it. FC Tulsa has taken their fifth straight victory.